guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will create very beautiful fantasy image in Adobe Photoshop. I will be using images I downloaded the license from Adobe Stock. Also, I will be using 3D objects I downloaded from pixelsquid.com. Feel free to use any images you like. Let's start. Uh, as you can see, I have opened Adobe Photoshop and also I have opened um, Creative Cloud Library and Pixel Squid um, Library as well. Now, I would like to open image from my Creative Cloud Library um, as a separate document. Double click on my image in my Creative Cloud Library and voila. Now, guys, I would like to um, bring another image into my uh, open document. To bring any image from your Creative Cloud uh, library into your open document, simply click on this image and drag it into your document, just like this. Now, I would like to flip this image. First of all, I will click OK to accept all changes. And now I will go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal and voila. Let me uh, relocate my uh, panels just for better preview, just like this, and maybe I will pin it here. Perfect. I will zoom in my document for better preview. I will resize my uh, second image I brought into our document and I will click OK one more time to accept all changes. Now, guys, definitely I need to isolate this um, background. I will click on quick selection tool and in the options bar I will click select select subject and voila guys um, a Photoshop does the job what I need guys I need just to fix a few small details I will click on um, this icon with um, a minus sign and I will tell Photoshop that I don't need this part um, to be included in my selection just like this and voila let me zoom in my document also I would like to fix this part so I will switch back to my quick selection tool I will bring size of my brush down and I will ask Photoshop do not include this part in my selection as well look at this how beautiful is it now uh, my main subject is selected in a way I want. Time to isolate my background. While my um, quick selection tool is selected, I will click on select and mask icon in the options bar next to select subject tab, just like this, and voila. I was redirected to select and mask workspace i love this workspace here guys i can adjust anything i like let's take a look um believe or not i don't want to adjust anything and everything is so beautiful what i would like to do i would like to check this um box i'm always checking this box pretty much all all the time um decon uh, decontaminate color just like that and guys i will specify output to new layer with layer mask and i will click ok now guys as you can see photoshop creates a separate layer with layer mask and my original um image um is a uh, hidden so what i will do i will delete my original image because i don't need it anymore and now i have only two layers one layer is my background layer and another layer is uh, my a uh, second image this uh, beautiful um um girl so first of all now i need to um create um natural looking composition i will switch to um, uh, the move tool and using this tool i will uh, uh, reposition um, my main subject just like this also guys using same tool i will resize it i will make it bigger just like this and i will reposition it one more time maybe a little bit smaller perfect now everything as i wanted look at this and i will click ok to accept all changes let me zoom in my document guys every 
everything looks good shadows and everything uh, I can add a few shadows under my um, main subject how can I do this first of all I will click on my background layer I will create a new empty layer directly below under my main subject I will highlight my um, uh, eyedropper tool and I will pick color out of my um, background image uh, behind my main subject just like this and using my favorite uh, brush tool you can use any brush to uh, brush tool you're more comfortable with I will add a few brush stroke of, sh of shadow just like that now guys definitely this shadow looks fake and I will fix it just in a second so now I uh, added outline of my shadow and I will go to filter blur and I will add Gaussian blur you can add any um, blur filter you're more comfortable with or you love the most just like this look at this I will click OK and also I will bring down opacity of this layer now my shadow looks very natural now guys I would like to add a few uh, details to my dress because I would like to um, be as uh, close to a realistic looking image as it possible so while I have um, a uh, layer mask I will highlight this layer mask my main subject uh, layer mask let me zoom in I will switch to my uh, brush tool again guys you can use any tool you're more comfortable with I will use a soft round brush and I will apply a black color to my brush using this brush I will add a few details so basically I will paint out some details of her dress it will be like um, uh, some uh, edges of her uh, uh, dress uh, touch uh, the ground just like this look at this and I'm happy with this result now guys let's be more creative first of all I will highlight my background layer just like this I will uh, switch to pixel squid library and here guys I have all my 3d objects I downloaded from pixelsquid.com all these uh, wonderful um, 3d objects are ready to use we don't need to create anything from scratch we have thousands and thousands absolutely amazing 3d objects ready uh, to use so I downloaded um, a few objects I would like to use in our image first of all I would like to add this beautiful tree I will click on this tree and voila using pixel squid uh, library window I will uh, rotate my um, tree just like that and now using my move tool I will move my tree uh, slightly to the uh, left guys why I'm using uh, this um, unexpected um, tree with unexpected colors because guys I, I always prefer to use some splashes of unexpected um, colors or um, objects in my uh, photo manipulations because in this way I will um, create more um, um, more uh, beautiful image more um, uh, creative image and this color completely uh, doesn't match any other color uh, in my image for now we will work on it now I would like to specify that I would like to have a shadow under my tree also guys I would like to have my 3d object in high resolution of course to do so I will switch resolution from low to high and voila my tree is ready now I would like to add a few more um, objects uh, into my um, document um, I will click add new just like this and here guys um, I downloaded a very beautiful white horse I will click on this horse I love horses and voila I will do I will apply a few same steps I applied to my tree I will rotate my uh, 3d object just like that also using my move tool I will uh, move it 
and I will increase size of my horse. Definitely my horse is bigger than my main subject. Maybe just like this. Let's see. A little bit smaller. Perfect. And now I will click OK to accept all changes. Maybe I will move it a little bit. If I would like to rotate my uh, horse, I can um, rotate her at any time. So let me rotate her a little bit to this side, just like this, and I will move it. Perfect. This is how I want it. And of course, I will specify that I would like to have shadows and I would like to have my um, 3D object in high resolution. So guys, now I um, positioned all my uh, 3D object and uh, I downloaded from Pixel Squid to uh, behind my main subject, behind these girls. Time to bring some object in front of my uh, main subject. Uh, I will switch. I will click add new. And for now, I will switch to my layers panel. <clears throat> and here, guys, I will click on my main subject layer, just like this. I will switch back to my Pixel Squid library. And here, guys, I will click on this beautiful uh, flower. I will reposition it. I will um, rotate it just slightly. I will make it smaller, just like that. And I will reposition it. Perfect, just like this. Maybe I will make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. This is how I want it. Yes. I will click OK to accept all changes. Definitely, I would like to have shadow under my uh, flower and I would like to have my uh, flower in high resolution. Now, guys, I will zoom in my document and as you can see, I positioned my uh, flower right on top of um, this leaf. Um, what can I do? I will... Um, reposition my uh, flower just slightly. In my uh, layers panel, I will click on add layer mask and I will switch back to uh, my um, brush with black color. Using this brush, I will paint out part of my flower. And now I have natural looking scene, like my flower behind this leaf. And this is what I wanted. We are not done yet, guys. Now, I will switch back to Pixel Script Library. I will click Add New. And here, guys, I have this beautiful bird cage. I will click on it. I will rotate it just like this. I will make it smaller. And I will reposition it on top of this uh, three branch just like this and I will click OK to accept all changes. Now guys, I need to specify that I don't want to have shadow under my cage, but I would like to have my cage in high resolution. Of course, I will switch from low to high. Let me zoom in my document and preview my cage. Guys, as you notice, I positioned my tree, uh, my cage on top of my tree, but I have a little bit um, uh, not perfect details in my composition. So how can I fix it? I will click and add a new uh, layer mask to my cage layer. I will switch to my um, simple brush tool with black color and I will paint out this part of my cage just like that. And now everything is as supposed to be. Maybe I would like to change a uh, color of my um, cage. Maybe not. I will decide it later. But for sure, I would like to bring a few more details into my uh, art. I will switch back to my Pixel Squid library. I will click on Add New. And here, guys, I have bird uh, 3D object I downloaded from uh, samepixelsquid.com. I will click on this um, beautiful bird object and guys i love it as it is look at this i planned to move my birds next to this um cage but i love it as it is oh my god first of all let me specify that i don't want to have shadows but i would like to have my um uh, bird uh, bird uh, object in high resolution so as usual i will switch from um low to high guys i love it maybe i will move um my bird just slightly to the side. 
Oh my God, yes, exactly as I wanted. You know why? Because right now my bird kind of, um, uh, my, uh, my, all this bird and my main subject creates one movement just like this. Oh my God, I love it. Maybe, maybe, I'm, I'm not sure. I will add a few details to this uh, bird um, layer. I will switch back to my layers panel. I will click and I will open adjustments panel just like that. And here I will click on a uh, color balance adjustment just like that. In a uh, properties panel, I will specify that I would like to apply adjustment only to the layer below this adjustment layer. In our case, to the our to our birds a layer just like that. And let me adjust color. Oh my God! Yes, yes, yes. This is how I want it. Yes, exactly. I love it. Look at this. Let me zoom in my document. Oh my God! Yes, yes, and yes, guys. I love it. Now we are not done yet. Um, I would like to add a few extra details to my art. First of all, I will uh, switch back to my Pixel Script library, and here I have this beautiful butterfly. Uh, I will click on this butterfly. Maybe this one. Yes. I will uh, rotate my butterfly just like this. Using my move tool, I will bring size down just like this and I will reposition this butterfly on top of my cage somewhere next to my cage. Let's zoom in the document. And this butterfly is too big. I will make it smaller just like this and perfect first of all i will specify that yes i would like to have shadow under my butterfly and also i would like to have my butterfly in high resolution just like this guys time to continue working on our um fantasy image um i love pretty much everything about it but i would like to add a few more details uh, to do so guys uh, first of all i will close um, this panel because uh, this tab because i would like to make my um uh document uh more visible just like that i will increase size and let's preview I love I love everything I love my composition I love my tree I love my cage I love my a butterfly I love my bird I love everything um, I can add a lot of more details guys but sometimes less is better so I'm happy with everything what I have right now I will switch back to my layers panel and I will merge all visible merge visible just like that now I will duplicate this layer just to show to you before and after i will go to filter camera raw filter just like that and here guys i will uh elite i will adjust a few uh, sliders just like that guys you can do anything you like it's up to you no rules in here it's your creation this is how i want it before I will say, okay, I'm happy with everything and I will um, close my camera roll. Uh, I would like to, um, camera roll, I'm sorry, I would like to switch to profiles. And here, guys, we have a lot of profiles we can use in our creations. I will switch to artistic. I will expand this tab and let's see what, oh my God, yes, I love artistic 02. I will click on artistic 02 and I can adjust amount of um, this profile I would like to apply to my image. So I will move my slider somewhere in the middle about maybe, let's see, 73 and I will click OK. This guy, uh, this image is before our camera roll and this is after. I will duplicate my layer one more time just to show to you before and after. And what I will do, guys, uh, now, I will um, 
open my adjustment panel. Guys, usually all my panels displayed on another monitor. And in this case, in this way, I have all um, Photoshop space available for my document. But because I'm recording this tutorial for you, I would like um, to show to you all my uh, panels and everything I'm working with. This is important. That's why I'm um, uh, closing and reopening all my panels all over again. So here, guys, I will click on, um, uh, let's see what I would like to add. Let's click on a hue saturation and let's play with few sliders. Just look at this and just a little, a little touch makes a huge difference. So I like it, like it, like it. Again, I will close this property, uh, close this tab group just like that. And I will merge my um, adjustment layer with my uh, image layer just like this. Now, guys, I will open another uh, panel. I will go to Windows, Window, I'm sorry. I will click on ext uh, Extensions and I will click on Adobe Paper Texture Pro. Guys, if you are a Creative Cloud subscriber, um, these textures are free for you. So go to Adobe website and download them. They're absolutely amazing. Let's see what texture um, I would like to apply to my document. I tried a few uh, just yesterday and let's see if um, I, I still love them. I will click on this first um, paper uh, te uh, texture, just like that. And voila, let me zoom out. By default, my texture applied um, like uh, with overlay blend mode and as you can see with a layer a mask already first of all i would like to switch blend mode let's see what blend mode i like the best oh my god darken yes absolutely and guys i can bring down opacity of this layer just like that let's see before and after guys it's not like huge dramatic change but this change makes everything more romantic, more dreamy. Uh, can I apply another uh, Texture Pro? Of course. I will click on another uh, paper texture and voila. And again, this um, uh, paper texture applied as a separate layer with layer mask and overlay blend mode. I will change a blend mode. Let's see what blend mode I like the most i cannot guarantee that i will use this um, um paper texture but i kind of like soft light let's see before and after yes i love it what i will do i will bring down opacity of this layer let's preview yes exactly as i wanted guys look at this and I will close my Adobe Paper a Texture um, panel just like that and I will merge my visible layers just like that. Now guys, I will delete my previous uh, layers just like this. I don't need them anymore because I'm happy with my current uh, layer and I will duplicate this layer one more time. Now guys, I will go to filter render and i will click on uh, lighting effects just like this here guys we have a lot of um presets we can use i will switch to let's see my favorite uh, rgb lights just like that and here guys i can adjust anything first of all i will maybe not this let's see no not rgb let me switch I closed it by mistake. I'm sorry. Lighting effects. And here, guys, I will switch to maybe three down. Three down. No, I don't like this. Mm. Yes, I will stay with RGB, RGB lights just like that. And I will adjust my lights. First of all, I will increase size. I will reposition it. 
I can increase or decrease intensity of uh, my light just like that maybe something like this let's see and this light as well and the best part I can rotate my light in any ways I like I can reposition it I can move it guys I can do anything I like look at this I will move it just like that I will rotate it I will decrease intensity of my um, blue light same with green light I will move it I will rotate it I will move it one more time and I will increase a size and I will bring down intensity of this light guys we can um, customize uh, everything in our light so example I can uh, adjust um, exposure uh, I can apply more or less a metallic effect everything is up to us I will click OK and guys because I applied my light to the separate uh, layer I can adjust this layer in any way first of all let's see if I will change blend mode and I will like it um, the most so let's see what blend mode I would like to use guys look at this yes I will use screen a blend mode a look at this how beautiful is this now it's kind of dreamy effect we apply to our image so guys now I have two layers one layer is my original layer our image and second layer is a layer with um, our lights we just applied I will highlight my original layer I will duplicate this layer just like that I will hide my top layer light layer and I will be back to um, my um, lighting effects workspace here guys I will switch to another um, preset soft omni maybe let's see no let's see something more interesting blue omni yes 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 I will um, um, decrease intensity of my light maybe I will click uh, on um, colorize icon and here I will be able to apply color to my light just like that apply a light to my exposure and I can change a light of my uh, color of my light as well just like that perfect 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 and let's bring down intensity of this light and I will click OK now as usual I can change blend mode for this layer look at this I will change a blend mode to lighten and I will bring back intensity uh, visib visibility of our first light um, uh, lighting effect we apply to our image guys look at this uh, I can say we are done or we can add one extra detail I will merge all my layers merge visible just like that I will duplicate my layer just in case and I will be back to my camera raw filter here guys I will apply a few adjustments I will increase contrast I will probably um, um, increase exposure I will bring down highlights I will um, uh, move shadow slider slightly to the uh, right because uh, uh, for my taste we have a lot of um, shadows in here and I don't like it so I will illuminate uh, a little bit uh, at shadows at intensity and I will move blacks slider slightly to the um, left to bring more details into my uh, document I will uh, move um, decay slider slightly guys slightly to the right same with clarity and texture and voila are we done you can say so or we can switch to radial filter 
create a little bit oval uh, about, around uh, main subject face and I will increase exposure just slightly, just slightly, just like that. And I will click OK. Guys, this is before our camera roll and this is after. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. Can you continue working on this image? Oh my God, definitely yes. You can add as many details as you like. But remember, sometimes less is better. So guys, thank you so much for being with me. If you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you for your time. Super appreciated. And I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.